right, guys. All right, so uh, welcome back to the Vino Rod. As you can see, I'm still budding. All right, let's take a look at what my progress is, and we'll talk about how I want to go on and finish this up. All right, well, I've got a little bit more to do on this dash. Top of this area here. I'm pretty happy with this now, so I'm pretty much, pretty much, pretty much done. I mean, I've got an area here that's that needs a little bit here to get square and flush. It's a little, little weak right there. There might be another. Oh, there's a piece here in the jam. So I'm pretty happy with uh, the way it's going. I've got maybe a single, what is that? Single shiner, just a touch right here. So, but I need to uh, repair this face still. There was just a lot of pitting. So I need to put a skim coat over that, finish that up. So overall, I'm pretty close. I mean, I don't, I don't want to put any primer on it until I, I, because I'm going to have to fix areas. If I prime it, I still have to fix it. So it's not going to do me any good to at least have something over these shiners. So, okay. So anyway, I'm still, I'm still putting mud on it. So for me, it's a long process. Um, but I'm going to keep uh, going at it until I can get it to where, you know, I can get that warm and fuzzy, like I like to say, where I feel, you know, I'm pretty happy about it. So, well, as some of you guys have seen previously in, in some of these videos that I've done, and maybe for the new subscribers that haven't gone back and checked, uh, what gave me this idea was I first picked up this. 1930 Ford Model A cow, you know, minus this dash that I built. And um, so I, I picked up a, a, a Model A frame. And when I got the idea to use wine barrel staves, as you can see, the profile on it, and I, I don't think I've ever talked, really talked about how I get them into the shape that I have them. And what I do is I'll take a, a quarter inch uh, board, uh, maybe uh, six inches wide or whatever. That's what I'll start out with. And I'll lay the stave on that quarter inch board and I'll clamp it on each end. And then I'll just run it through the table saw, which squares that edge up and then you know naturally I do both sides well when it first started I I had this cow I, I planned on building a rat rod planned on building a sheet metal car I was gonna take sheet metal and bulk heads and I was gonna attach and I was gonna just build you know build off of this and go back well, I mean, this area that I live in is, uh, it's uh, Santa Barbara County, so it's a lot of wineries around here. So, you know, I had picked up a couple of wine barrels at one point and made some things out of the wine barrels while I had some, some of the staves setting around. And when I, when I saw that, that this thing had an arch and I seen one of these staves, you know, I thought, wow, that's crazy. That has really close to the same shape. So... You know, when I put it up against the the A pillar here, I mean it just remarkably close. So I thought, well, once I got this shape, I knew that I would have all the shapes I needed to build the roadster body, which you know, the trunk, you know, the the side of the car back, and then the little turn around. And then I used the lid pieces for the sides of the trunk. 
I used the wine barrel bands for the grill shell and then the seats, backs. And so it, it just kind of really turned into, hey, you know, I can make a wine themed car. So that's really the basis of this car. Uh, not so much, you know, to be a traditional hot rod, but just kind of like a, I don't know, just a, like I said, just a wine themed car, you know, I'm going to use as many as the shapes as I can from the wine barrel to create the body of the car. So one other idea that I had was uh, I've always liked the traditional hot rods that had the checkerboard on the um, firewall. And for the longest time, I've been thinking, well, I, you know, I don't necessarily want to paint a black and white checkerboard. You know, and I, I, I had thought about it for quite a while. And I finally, you know, after having thought about it, I, I decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these lid. Like I said, I use the lid pieces to create the side of the trunk. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, this portion and this portion, and I'm going to build my checkerboard. So what I'll do is I'll, you know, rip this and plane this down to, oh, I don't know, hopefully just a, an eighth inch thick. I'm hoping that I can get it down to about an eighth inch. So what I'll do is I'll take these little one inch squares or whatever inch and a half inch squares and, and uh, attach them to the firewall. And that will give me my, my uh, checkerboard theme that I wanted. And then I want to carry it along this portion here and back across the back door and into the trunk area. So I'll just do a little checkerboard using this because I don't have a trim piece on the the uh, the door. So what my, what I'm going to try to do is get I'm going to add a new piece to the door here to get a better profile now that I'm doing this bodywork to it get a better lineup on this profile and then I want to be able to carry, you know, the, the checkerboard theme across these deals here and then carry it on across there. That'll give me this profile here. So, yeah, and that's, that's really the color that I want to try to achieve. You guys can get a good view of that. This is kind of faded a little bit. This is from the same barrel. So, I mean, it's a really, uh, that rosé color is really pretty. And that's what I kind of want to do on this, too, is whitewash it this color. So this will be a flat black, semi-gloss black, possibly. Um, and then the body itself will be a whitewash so you can still see the grain of the wood and it'll be that whitewash uh, rosé color. And one of the other things that I'm going to be working on in the future is that I work at a, I work a construction work and I'm, I'm always working on equipment, different, different types of equipment all the time. That's why I, like I built my steering wheel out of a flywheel on an air handler. Um, I just, when I, when I'm working at like, the mechanism on my convertible top was made out of uh, door openers. I was replacing a bunch of door openers and that's where I got the idea to use those door openers for my convertible top mechanism. So anytime that I'm, I'm working, when I'm on a piece of equipment, if it can turn into a car part, it's gonna be a car part. So one of the things that I had always not really liked too much was the pins that I put on the top of the A pillar. And it's just a piece of cold roll. I don't know if I. So there's a view of it right there. So I never really was a big fan of that. So I was working, I, I work on, you know, a secured, a, a secured facility. So 
a lot of the facilities have, you know, an access point where there's a turnstile and, you know, you got to put your badge up there, you got to put your code in there and then it'll grant you access to the facility. Well, I was working on one of the turnstiles and one of the solenoids uh, was bad. So I had to replace the solenoid. And in, in that solenoid, it has this pin. So when I saw this pin, I thought, okay, that's my next car part right there, big fella. <laughs> so what I ended up doing was taking it, as you can see, this, this goes inside the solenoid here. And then there's spring, a spring that attaches to this point that goes to an arm. And when that solenoid fires off, it'll pull and it'll pull that arm back. Then you can rotate through the turnstile and then the, the solenoid will drop out and then that arm will shut against the lock mechanism. So I had to replace the solenoid. So that's where I wanted to, and I took this and milled it down. And I, you know, put the threads on it. So that's what I'm going to end up doing. Is taking uh, and cutting, you know, cutting this off, and then drill and tapping it. This is five eighths eighteen thread. So I'll end up replacing this with this. Sexy. <laughs> All right. Well, you know. The mind just keeps wandering, guys. It just keeps wandering. So, all right. Well, that's where I'm at with this. And uh, I'm going to get back to work. I'm out here sanding on this thing. I wanted to take a break and get you guys involved in a couple of things that I'm doing. So, I'm going to get back at it. I'm going to sand some more. And uh, can't promise you anything, guys. <laughs> I'm just hoping that I'm not doing this next year and explaining to you guys why I haven't put primer on this thing yet. So stick with me. Appreciate you new subscribers. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot, guys.